Thank you so much for joining me. Of course. As you know, we're here on the set of The Bridge. What attracted you to the role of Sonia Cross? I thought Sonia was a very interesting gal. Uh, she's a, a cop, a detective. And we come to find out um, in the show that she's very good at her job because she is obsessive when it comes to murder and, and, and serial killers. And um, part of that is because she is on the spectrum and um, crime is her passion and she just, uh, all her energy and time goes into finding out why people do horrible things to each other. <laughs> How did you hear about Asperger's for the first time? Um, actually, it's kind of through this show. I, I obviously had heard about autism before, but I didn't know that um, Asperger's would fall on the spectrum. So uh, thanks to you and thanks to Autism Speaks, I really um, was able to really sort of submerge myself with that condition and, and you know the challenges that some people face because of that and what it means to live an everyday life um, with that condition and how you can excel at certain things and then the shortcomings that sometimes uh, people who are affected by this face. So we're about to start episode six. How has your character developed since the pilot? Well I don't know if she so much develops. This is the first time for her that she has to work with a partner She's always been um, very singular and uh, protected by um, Ted Levine's character, Hank. And so this is a really big learning experience for her. She has to watch out for somebody. She's being watched out for, which is also very unusual for her. And she sort of takes some social cues from him. And she's trying to be a little bit more social because those are one of the things that she finds very difficult to deal with. What about this role has been challenging for you? Everything. You know, no scene is ever just uh, a scene where I say my lines because her, her world is just a, a little bit different for her. You know, she sees very literal, as, as you know. Um, she doesn't really understand jokes, and she's very honest, and she doesn't understand why people lie. And then at the same time, you know, she's so much ahead of the game in many other ways, and, and, and people look up to her because she really has the ability to focus and be very you know, say less affected by what's going on around her. She, she kind of has the ability to focus on things that people don't necessarily see. Is there anything in Sonia's character that you relate to in your own personal life? <laughs> so many things. I wish I knew how to handle a gun. <laughs> I'm very, very fond of Sonia. I find her incredibly endearing and charming. Um, and sometimes she also breaks my heart. You know, she's someone that I can identify with, with being in a position that people you don't ever fit in. You know, I, I'm sure a lot of teenagers feel like that when they when they grow up. You know, and I still feel like that sometimes. I can be extremely shy when it when I'm in in a, in a big crowd, for example. I'm not very good at you know schmoozing and talking to people, and and so I can only imagine if everyday life for you feels like that with the challenges that yeah. you might face. So, I don't know. And then at the same time, I find her very, um, you know, charming. She's just like, I feel like she's such a cool girl. Awesome. Is there anything that you'd like people to learn from this show? I don't like to tell people, oh, you should, this is something that you can take away from this because I think what we do, um, needs to be entertaining first first and above everything else and then it's our job as actors to try and bring as much substance to the characters um, in my case hopefully bring as much substance as I can to portray this condition um, as accurately as I can and I just hope that people will see different personalities different cultures people who face different things in their life uh, grow and, and evolve and you know hopefully that's something that they can relate to and they can understand people that they didn't necessarily understand before maybe a little bit better. Uh, do you have anything else to add? <laughs> um, well I'm adding that I'm very grateful that you're here and I think this is really great that you're doing this and um, thank you for helping me to be honest about this. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>